Hi everyone, welcome to Straight from the Divine Tarot. We are Sunday, October 27th, 2024. And I'm here to do collective read for you. As you know, it's a timeless read. I don't use the signs, I don't use the genders, it's all energy anyway. So the way to know if this is your reading is through the description of the characters as well as the storyline. So take what applies, toss the rest, don't try to make things fit if it doesn't. I will be using the he and she pronoun just to keep it straight in my head, no other reason. So if you have to switch the genders or the roles throughout the read, not a problem, go ahead, okay? Just remember it's a collective, a general collective reading. Not every read's gonna be for you. You must use your higher wisdom and discernment. I'll bring out the tarot cards, I'll give you the description of the cards as well as what I'm pick put I can't even speak right now. Picking up intuitively, pardon me. Um, you know your story best. It could be all the descriptions, some one and or none, as I stated, and then we bring it together at the end. If you wouldn't mind, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. Um, if you want to join the memberships, please do. I think I'm truly, truly honored. Um, there's two tiers if, if you're not aware of it, so you have a choice of one or the other. And I'm truly grateful you're all here. Thank you for all the love and support you show me. I love you guys so very much. Let's see what Spirit wants to talk about. Hope you're going to have a great day. Spirit guides, guardian angels, ancestors of light, light. What is the message for the collective at this hour, please? Almost. Okay, wise guy. Somebody thinks they're funny, male or female, and or somebody's involved with organized crime. Somebody thinks they're uh, smarter than the average bear. <laughs> Let's see overarching energy. Bottom of the deck, underlying energy, appearance. So somebody's, I don't know, concerned with their appearance, how they look, how they come across, or maybe yours. Or somebody's going to make an appearance. I don't know. Underlying energy. That keeps coming out lately. Haunted. Somebody's haunted. There's two skulls there. That means there could be two on lives. Maybe somebody's playing in some stuff they shouldn't have been playing in. I don't know. They're just haunted by something that took place. Wanted you feeling haunted. Yeah, self-preservation. Somebody's uh, trying to protect themselves here. Somebody's got, got garnering attention. They're trying to get your attention. That horn's been uh, like that horn's been blown or it's being blown. I just heard taps. Somebody could be military. I don't know. Take it for whatever it is. You're shining here. Don't let them dull your shine. Your your shine offends their demons. You're getting a lot of attention because you are shining. And they're in self-preservation preservation mode. Maybe, I don't know, somehow, some way, they know that you know what they've done. They could have been involved uh, in the unalive or they're being haunted by spirit or something. Now, somebody wants forgiveness. You have a great deal of faith. They put you through a lot of hardship or they're now going through hardship, right? And they're watching, they're observing, or you are. They're under observation. I don't know. People are weird. So if you're feeling bad about something you've done, just go ahead and apologize. Um, how that person reacts to your apology, and make it sincere, obviously, but how that person reacts to your apology is none of your business type of thing. It's up to them whether they want to forgive you or not and how they react to it. At least you apologize and getting it off your chest. You've done your part, okay? You can't take back time. You can't go back in time and change things. You can just move forward and do the best that you can from this point on, right? So whoever this is is not feeling too good about themselves. I'm sorry you're going through that, but if you've done something wrong to to a, another person... Okay, there's the deck. I was looking for it. If you've done something wrong, just atone. Make amends. Be truthful. No projections, no pointing, no blaming. Just, I did something wrong. Something to do with appearance here. What's this wise guy? Where are we going with this? Oh, boxing, sparring. It's a fight. You could be involved with boxing. Maybe it's uh, illegal betting or something. I don't know. Doesn't want commitment. Something to do with six months. Either six months ago or six months from now. It could be a pregnancy. Congratulations if so. This is infatuation and obsession. News of legalities. Pay attention to your dreams. Opportunities in the palm of your hand for a resurrection. Somebody wants a second chance or this is you rising from the ashes. A phoenix rising. New beginning. Hmm. Something's getting resurrected. 
something that happened in the past potentially. So wise guy, boxing gloves. Why is this here for the collective, please? Thoughts. It's 16. It's a tower. They're wondering what people are thinking of them or thinking of you or if they're, I don't know, changing their thoughts here. Something to do with somebody's appearance or something trying to change perceptions maybe somebody doesn't want commitment false person they only care about their ego or, or their image so it was very very false pathway your own path maybe wanting power and control over you somebody's egotistical very prideful something to do with a family room 21 something's coming something's coming to an end it's the world Ending a cycle to begin a new one. Or they don't want something to end. I don't know. Family room. Journey. Ten. This is destiny. This is fate. You're very fortunate. You could be traveling or moving. It could be a soul's journey as well. You could be getting some karma as well. For what, whatever this is. Maybe that's their mo uh, prime motivator right now is because they're getting karma. They could be very feeling very defensive. I don't know. He's entering. Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Somebody's a wise guy. They think they're funny. They thought whatever they were doing, male or female, sleeping around. They don't want commitment. Always fighting and sparring with people. Feeling very uh, defensive, maybe. It's a tower, false foundation. Keys on a ring. Too many keys, one lock. You know what I'm saying? String it along. Hand of cards. Take a chance. Risk being strategic. Options not showing hand and gambling. So we need multiple options. False person. You're finding out the truth. Because the ace of spades is really the ace of swords. So the truths are, truths are coming uh, coming out. Pardon me. Somebody's getting the axe. Mm -mm -mm. Break up separation. Stop the pattern. Silent treatment and abandonment. It's over. Whatever this is. Clock. It's about time I just heard. Wow. Need time takes time, time, end time cycles, time to heal in progress. So you need to take some time to heal from this. Um, digest what happened, process what happened, so you can let it go and move on in a healthy manner. Girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable and boundaries. So you got to put some boundaries and keep to them. It's a narcissist you're dealing with. It's all them, okay? You can't change a narcissist. You can't. You got to just take what, you know, take on the loss, move on. Don't look back. Sunglasses, watching, l looking, stalking, gaslighting, perception, focusing out. Yeah, this seems, I don't know, they're, they're counting your money. You're coming into an abundance of something and they're watching to see if it's come in maybe so they can come back around again. Keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want. Gratitude and bliss, self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. So if you haven't done so, do so already. You know, get to it. Uh, you're just slowing things down, if not. So coffin, endings, new, bring new beginnings, growth, change, and liberation, and transition. Congratulations. This is changing. Are you changing your, your outlook, your, your perception, maybe changing the way you approach relationships from now on? Because you've learned, obviously, whoever you are, you've learned a lesson, a very valuable lesson about love and romance and narcissism and blah, 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 being taken advantage of, maybe giving too much of yourself. And I'm not putting blame on you. I've been there. Um, and, and, you know, always taking people at face value and not, not checking in with your gut, with your intuition. Because I, I went through that. My, my intuition was screaming at me. And I ignored it. <clears throat> but then again, if I had um, paid attention to it, would I have learned the lessons I was supposed to learn? I don't know. So you got to look at it two sides. Look at it, you know. Don't beat yourself up, but it is what it is. Wise guy. So somebody thinks it's always funny. I think they're, you know, smarter than the average bear. Somebody could always be sparring and fighting with everybody. This is a tower. This is a false foundation. This is just somebody got led on. They led you on. String along. One night stands. This could be somebody that has one night stands often. Casual hookups. And you're just done. Okay? So something's going to happen quickly. It's going to be a shift. It's meant to redirect you. Okay? Redirect your perception. That's for sure. About how you look at life. Sometimes we have those rose-colored glasses on, right? We don't want to believe 
uh, people can be like that, but they, they certainly can be. It's a big eye-opener. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> can't move on. Can't escape. Somebody's in trouble. They don't want you moving on. They don't want things to change. Transition. Hermit going within. Being alone. Doing that soul, soul work. That shadow work. Using your higher wisdom. Tapping into that guidance system that you have. Shining a light on things. Finding that stuff out. Yeah, somebody was talking shit. Some secrets are coming out. Uh, maybe somebody's telling your secrets. I don't know. Secrets are not coming out. Somebody was really talking shit about you. Maybe doing magic. I don't know. Hermit in the upright. High Priestess in the reverse. People around you could be talking about what's going on, you know, in your business. Yeah, a lot of lies and illusions and fear, a lot of stuff going on behind your back that, you know, they were trying to keep hidden from you. Somebody's in their emotions. They could have been doing spell work to destabilize you. Something was playing, someone was playing games, okay? They can't play games with you anymore. Um, somebody got found out. They were juggling. They can't juggle you anymore. They're going through, I don't know, some sort of lack um, they thought they'd profit off of you, but they're not. They can't play games with you anymore. They're in debt or try to put you in debt. Yeah, debt to the devil. This is toxic karmic energy, obsessions, uh, 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 obsessions and addictions bound to the devil, bound to a contract. Sounds very egotistical, wanting power and control, very lustful. Someone's in debt here. Someone's in their emotions. Wish fulfillment. You are the you. You have a new beginning. Whatever this is, this is self love, new love, true love. And someone's jealous of you, or the love that you show yourself, or the love that somebody else has for you. I don't know. This is greed, materialism, gold digger, cloud chaser. Somebody's very unstable. Can't be trusted. They're unfaithful. They're in their emotions. Why? Wanting a life of luxury off your back. This is somebody that's. Not exactly single. They're insecure and unstable. Greedy and selfish. Codependent and clingy. They could have committed some sort of financial crimes. Or they're heading towards bankruptcy. And they're in their emotions. They're in debt. Uh, they have addictions maybe. And that's where their money went. I don't know. Yeah. They didn't, it can't come correct. This is somebody that's very unfaithful. Unreliable. Undependable. Immature. Irresponsible. Lazy. Non-committal. And something's happening quickly here. Or maybe they're quick to anger. Maybe this type of person that goes from person to person gets into one relation after a relationship after another. Last two months and then you move on. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't. Yeah. That's a sad life, isn't it? Because they're insecure. They have a fragile ego. Maybe they're it's a homosexual looking to, to profit off of others. They can't. They don't have anything of value to offer. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Something's stopping here. Yeah, this was an injustice. was unfair, unbalanced, amoral or criminal. This could be you or somebody else, a king of cups. It could be a father figure. doesn't have to be. It could be a female in this energy and masculine. Um, maybe somebody's given up the drink. Or there's no love. You're figuring out there's no love here for this person. You thought you loved them. Uh, they used your love against you, possibly. You're remaining stoic, emotionally balanced, stable, and mature. You're not wearing your heart on your sleeve, okay? You love very deeply. But I think you're realizing you come first, okay? Something's happening quickly here. Rushing to get a divorce or separation. False contract. Could have been a crime. Somebody could have lashed out physically towards you. And they're going to be committed a crime. Obviously, you can't put your hands on others, right? You can't threaten others. Um, could have been a drive-by of some sort or a hit and run or something. You don't have the same value system. Yeah. This is a karmic. You're parting ways with a karmic. It's their way or the highway, okay? This person's not really... They don't want to elevate in life. 
poor decision making. There's consequences. If it's a contract of any sorts, it's all one sided. It was rigged that way. And there's consequences here. There's lack of trust. Yeah, somebody wants to come back or they're refusing to move on. Sometimes you just got to take this loss, right? Yeah. And block them. Now they're acting like a victim because you blocked them. They didn't see this one coming. Indecisive. Don't know what to do. Don't see what's coming. Feeling paranoid. Or ignoring them. You're ghosting them. If they come back, just block them. If they want to come back. They don't know how. I don't know. They don't know how to come back now. This is very karmic. Somebody's in denial. Yeah. Blocking family, blocking this marriage, this, I don't know, blocked from the home. There could be a, um, a restraining order from a home or business, a party. There's always partying, ignoring this party. I don't know. Yeah, it's a lot of money. It's family, home, property, an inheritance. They don't know what to do. They're in denial. Long-term stability, long-term relations. Somebody got caught. They have to come clean. Okay, somebody come clean about something. Somebody married into money, maybe. You're figuring out. They married you for money? I don't know. And now you're figure, fi figuring out what they've done here. Not happy. They're sick. They don't want this getting out into the into the open. This is not wish fulfillment. Yeah, somebody's a narcissist, male or female. Somebody lied. They used and abused you. They treated you horribly. Maybe you've got ice cold on them. You persevered, you overcame, you put up some boundaries. They're paranoid here because their their stability is being blocked. King of Pentacles, or somebody's trying to block your stability. Somebody could be barricaded, barricading themselves within a home. There could have been a fire or something. Somebody's just ma manipulated. Um, can we sp speak today? Very manipulative. You know, well, if I can't have this home, this happy home, blah, 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 then nobody else is going to have it. So they could have set fire to a home. Or a property. You're getting found out, whoever this is. There's a lot of people involved. There's a lot of confusion, conflict, jealousy, drama. So they're they're blocking themselves off from this group of people that are angry here. Yeah, but a group of people are blocking them. No new beginnings. They got an STD. Somebody lied about this STD. There's been no communication, no truth or clarity, no new beginnings. This is a relationship. Maybe this person doesn't feel it passionately and they lied. Yeah. Could be a lot of fighting going on or some sort of attack. Somebody's feeling over overwhelmed and defeated. You're not going to fight for this any longer. Yeah. This person just wanted you to struck, yeah, keep you around. Keep you on a fucking hook where they can, you know, ATM and get you to do whatever they wanted. Could try to sacrifice you and or you have to make some sacrifices now. It's just a waste of time. It's heartbreaking. Okay. Not, nothing but lies. You're finding out there's competition here. They could have got an STD. Or you're just not feeling it sexually towards this person. You have no more passion for them. Or you're moving on and they don't want you having any beginning or any kind of passion. Even though they don't... I, don't know, just, I just heard boycott. I don't know where that came from. But you're not fighting with them. It's heartbreaking, I know. You just wanted to waste your time. Yeah. Wanted a sugar daddy or mommy. Somebody stable and secure, very grounded, down to earth, compassionate, um, committed, loyal, successful, generous, stable and secure. This is a doer, you know, good good with money. Yeah, I wound up with a tox, <laughs> with a karmic. I want him power and control. Somebody's very promiscuous and greedy and selfish and commanding, demanding and controlling. Empty victory. Willing to do whatever it takes to get their way. They're a gold digger. Right? It's all coming back on them. Trying to slow down somebody's destiny. They're f trying to slow down faith. They're getting karma. Yeah, the world's upside down. They kept repeating a bad pattern of behavior. Didn't want to learn a lesson. Now it says come back up. Yeah. 
It's going to do with paternity, not your children. Unrequited love. Now going back to the past. It could be family as well. Okay. Maybe you're realizing you have to deal with your inner childhood wounding here. There's a lot of trauma. Trauma bonding. You're no longer investing. And this was a poor investment. You get what you give. They can't go any further. It's not going anywhere. Somebody has to relocate. If it's a paternity issue, you're finding out. Your world's upside down. You're finding out the child or children aren't yours. Somebody's giving out false information about you. So people don't invest in you. Yeah, at work. You're putting a lot of work in. You have success. You put a lot of time and energy into a situation. You've mastered yourself or your craft. You have a new beginning. This is taking a practical approach, gathering some information. It's good financial news. You could be working with a child or a, um, an adult child of yours. This is new beginnings here. Let me paid to get you to, to harm you. They were trying to work you. You're finding this out. Somebody tried to harm you physically, make you sick. They paid for this. Maybe you're watching divination here. Maybe you're working as a reader. I don't know, it could be either way. And people didn't want it. This person or persons didn't want the, um, anybody investing in you. They overestimated themselves. Okay. They paid somebody to harm you in one way or another. But this is ending a cycle. Yeah. They wanted you in your feelings here. They could have said you were mentally unstable. Or they're going through a dark night of the soul. You put your past hurts behind you. This was a, a game player. This is a scam artist. Insincere. Very insincere. I could be having casual hookups all over the place. Or they were doing magic against you. De depression spells of some sort. They never showed you any support. Whoever this is. They didn't want you having friendship, fealty, love, nothing, support. Yeah, they were giving and receiving with others, prioritizing others, having casual hookups everywhere. This is justice, though. They're going to have to, they were greasing some palms. They're going to have to uh, pay you, though. Yeah. This is a karmic relationship. So parting ways. You remained balanced and stable. This isn't going anywhere. They're out of control. They don't want to take accountability. Yeah. Yeah, they're stuck too, too, if this resonates. Their, their, their plans fell through, okay? They're, they're stuck. Sudden departure, sudden arrival. They have no contingency plan. They're going towards financial ruin, spiritual jail, or illness, or all the all the above. They want to come back in from out of the cold, possibly. Or you got yourself out of poverty, or you found your confidence. Maybe at one point you, it was lacking, Okay. They can't affect your confidence. They can't affect something in your life here. You know, they could be going to jail or they're stuck in their head. It's all self-imposed. Restricted or they're trying to restrict you. Restrict your work. I don't know that's... Going to jail. Somebody could have been picked up for um, prostitution and or um, as a john. Somebody's stuck in their head, seeing through the illusions. There's no more confusion, running out of options, don't have a choice. They didn't want to give you any choices. Maybe they claimed you were into prostitution or you're, you know, buying the services of prostitutes. You're stable and secure. You know your value and your worth. You're abundant, independent, very generous, loving, nurturing. You have no burdens. You have no debt. You have no karma. You made a conscious decision to put these burdens down. You're not taking on anybody else's burdens, ending the cycle. Yeah, now they're sick. Or they could have said you're mentally ill or you're ill. They're scared. This is a scandal. They took you as a fool. They thought you were gullible. They thought you were naive. They don't want you having a new beginning without them, I just heard. Wow. They didn't want you having a new beginning. They took unnecessary risks. Now they look like the fool. That's what's doing their head in. Oh, well. Now they're exposed. Public humiliation. Damn. You foresaw what they were doing. They were trying to steal money, miss, missed opportunities, or they're in debt, or they wanted you in debt. Whatever this was, it wasn't their blessing to take. Okay? They were plotting and planning to steal this money, or this opportunity, or your, or your spiritual gifts. You're moving forward here. You're prepared or preparing. 
Yeah, they wanted you left out in the cold. So these. If there's a pregnancy, just for a few of you, they're planning to terminate it. No new beginning. Somebody's having an emotional outburst. They're very insincere and immature. No new beginnings. They're not sorry for what they've done. Oh, boy. I don't know. They wanted you left out in the cold. Now they're going to be left out in the cold without money, without anything. They're worried that they can't eat or sleep. If it is a paternity issue, then the child or children aren't theirs. This is something that's emotionally manipulative, okay? They're worried about their family. They're worried about a group. Their wish fulfillment. They're worried that you're happy. Are you going to be happy when you hear them? Um, their karma? I don't know. In the background of this picture, this is the Nine of Swords, right? This is worry and stress and strife and burdens enough, but that's the Five of Swords here. They know, they knew going in this that it wasn't going to work. They were willing to do whatever it took, but it wasn't going to work. They're all taking on losses. In the back of their head, they know that everyone that went in on this with them, they're taking on losses, although they might, um, you know, alone in their room at night, they're, they're stressing over it, but in front of everybody else, no, they're acting like they're happy. Now, there's a lot of gossip going on. Parting away with a group, a family, a third party situation, friends. Not happy. Friends are going the other way. They are trying to avoid a tower moment. Okay? Or this group. Now they're feeling sorry for themselves. They're, they've been rejected, abandoned. They're regretting. Yeah. They're regretting because you were a wish fulfillment. They're left out in the cold. They're regretting leaving you out in the cold. I don't know. Yeah. Because they were greedy and selfish. They were holding back from you. You're quite satisfied in doing that. Maybe partying on your dime. She's got drinks all around her. Party, party, you know. They were celebrating this bullshit. There's no more celebrations here. Somebody's coming in, speaking some truth, setting boundaries, and cutting people and things out. Yeah. They're under surveillance. They're watching and spying. This is delayed communication from afar. Male or female, okay? Gender doesn't matter. Somebody got curious. Somebody with authority got curious and looked you up. And they're, they're finding out what's going on here. If they don't know you. If they do know you, they're still, yeah. They, they, they can't move on. They can't escape, okay? They're um, trying to block you online or they've been blocked online. This is not wish fulfillment. They could be sick. They're feeling ashamed of themselves. They don't want this getting out. They wanted you losing hope or they're losing hope. This is a backfire. There's no communication. They can't move forward. It's bad news. They're resisting change. You're not gone. They can't take care of you. You know what I mean? This is a permanent profound ending. Ending a third party situation, collaboration, or a contract. There's been no communication. This is bad news. They lied. They threw rocks and hit hands. They felt entitled. They're drama starters, okay? Yeah, moving on. It's bad news about somebody moving on or traveling towards you. They have to take accountability and bring back balance to a situation. It's radical acceptance. You overcame. You're moving on. This is universally driven. It's victory. Yeah. You could be traveling towards an emperor. Or you could be this emperor. You boss up to back your power. You have authority, whether it's spiritual, 3D, or both. It could be the authorities coming in, coming to see you. They did their homework, okay? They investigated. And now they're coming towards you. Judgment. Oh, yeah. It's awareness. Somebody has to take accountability. This is an aha moment for somebody. You were in the know. You knew exactly what was going on. Or somebody else says, yeah, this was manipulation, illusions, deception. Yeah. They said that you were crazy. You had addictions. This is them. Okay. They went to extremes, inappropriate behavior. So somebody, king of wands, has got to take some sort of action. They were holding back. Holding, they're holding back from another party from this karmic. This is a leader. Somebody's taking back you or them. You're standing in your power, okay? You've got to do the right things. This is somebody that has morals, ethics, and honor. There's something to do with insurance and or setting something aflame. If you can't have it, you know? If I can't have it, you can't have it. You know what I mean? It could be an insurance investigator of some sort. Holding back. So somebody's angry, combative. They felt entitled to this. They're very manipulative, okay? Manipulative, whoever this Queen of Cups in reverse is, male or female. They don't care who they hurt. They're using their emotions to get their way now. They could have tried to impersonate you or forge, it, forge your signature. So we have wise guy. Could be organized crime. Realty, I heard, okay? Something to do with homes and businesses. Uh, it's all about their appearance. 
They thought it was funny. Ha 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 ha. They may think about coming towards you to make an appearance. I don't know. Or they're worried about how this all looks. Okay, there's fighting here. There's sparring. There could be boxing involved. Doesn't want commitment. This is a false person. This is um, somebody's in their thoughts about you. Maybe they try to make you look like a false person. This person's seeing it differently. You know, no, no, you're the false person. Something's happening quickly. It's going to be a shock. It's a tower moment. It's coming down. Hand of cards, right? Whatever this was, this, this house of cards is being brought down. Right? Take a chance, risk being strategic. Options not showing hand in gambling. Somebody could be a gambler, took a huge risk and they lost. Keys on a ring. Many options, decisions, unconventional. String along one night stand. The truths are coming out about this, okay? Maybe they said they had a one night stand with you and they didn't. I don't know. They go different ways. People are skeevy. What can I say? Skeevy. Skeevy Petey. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know any Peters, so. Where are we going with this spirit? Your name's Peter. Forget me. It was just a joke. Where are we going with this, please, spirit? How are we ending this week for the collective, please? Well, watch your wisdom, power of the divine, seven, moving forward, universally driven. Somebody's going to get locked up, whether it's spiritual or 3D, okay? They're not looking too healthy. Maybe it's rehab. I don't know. So, the spiral dancer going around circles no more. There's a divorce, a separation. Crooked judge or leader, warlock, not the same. You don't have the same value system. Uh, this is a false contract. They broke the law. Divorce and separation, did I say that? Yeah. So this is circuitous route and perception. Like I said, you have to change your perception or somebody else is changing their perception about the situation or about you. The dream weaver, a dream of the collective good and illusions, eight. So I'm scared. They wanted power and control over you. They thought... Um, They'd have their power hungry. Somebody's very egotistical, okay? Yep, the cosmos in 41. Yeah, they broke the law. It's a, some sort of warlock or crooked leader. Creativity and vastness. The universe is on it, okay? Congratulations. Seven, moving down. So the well watcher, wisdom, the power of the divine. The divine's all over it. The well watcher signals the need to go within to contemplate the true source of power in the world, which he reminds you it is that of the divine. This is a message to let you know that you're being called to the well, and this unseen power will be there and will be yours to align with. This affirmation and prayer will invite the divine to bring miracles and resolution to your life. Thy will be done through me for the highest good of all and for the true manifestation of my purpose, quote unquote. You will know the way forward by the still small voice within. The divine also may answer your call by sending others to help guide you. So just be on the lookout, okay? So we have the spiral dancer, circuitous, circuitous route, and perception as the challenger. It seems as if you're getting caught out of breath, going in the wrong direction. Sometimes you're too, so busy dancing to your own tune that you find yourself out of step with everyone else. Perhaps now is the time to regroup, sit down, and rest for a while until the rhythm calls you to do the dance to the dance again. Pardon me. The spiral dancers is a gentle one, so be still and know that you're always loved. If your question's about a relationship, don't be too assertive now. This is the time to be receptive and allow someone else to take the lead and show his or her true nature to you. At the same time, be careful of being manipulated. You will know the truth about your situation clearly if you sit this dance out and observe. So they're in keeping both cards. Sit back, do some inner reflection. Um, listen to that still small voice within you that's guiding you, okay? Maybe you've been too busy to do so. So, the Dreamwalker dreams the collective good and illusions challenger. The Dreamwalker challenges you to wake up from your restless sleep in which you're not dreaming at all. This is the time to remind yourself of your passions and the aspirations you may have left behind. Perhaps you should reconsider and allow yourself your precious dreams again. Don't give them up. There's always a way they can return to you as long as you don't try to dictate the forms they take. Another way the Dreamwalker challenges you is when you're in the middle of a nightmare brought on by you or by others. Wake up and don't struggle for she reminds you that the divine will lead you out of the bad dream and into a much better one. This too shall pass. So don't buck against it. Let, ha let, let what happens happen. If you're in the wrong, then take ownership, okay? And, and stop being so resistant and combative, if that's you, okay? Because um, it's going to happen regardless whether you want it or not. 
Be mindful that you have a unique and special purpose. You're always actively influencing your reality through your thoughts and reactions to life's challenges. Now, this reminds me of don't give them up your dreams, right? Um, there's always a way they can return to you as long as you don't try to dictate the forms they take. That reminds me of, like, I lost many children. I was not, never able to carry them to term. Um, but I, I, and I had an ectopic pre pre pregnancy, pardon me, and they kind of removed my fallopian tubes, you know. Anyways, I, I didn't take no for an answer. They told me I'd never have children. I said, no, no, no. It's going to happen because I honestly, I knew, I felt my baby's arms around my neck. Whether it was my own biological child or an adoptive child or a stepchild, I knew one day I would be a mother. And I didn't give up hope. I didn't try to, you know, I just went with the flow. When it was time for surgery, when it was time to go to the, I saw the top specialist in North America, by the way, to do this um, fertility expert. And everything fell into place. It was like a miracle. No time at all. I went to go visit him two days later. I was prepping for surgery. It was just bang, 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 bang. And he re reconstructed. And it worked. And he, he liked it. And he goes, it's not easy doing this job. <laughs> he said it's like a fallopian tube is really mushy. He goes, it's like a macaroni noodle. It's like sewing two macaroni noodles together. You know what I mean? So it wasn't, it was... It was a pretty long surgery, but it was successful. I'm grateful for that. But don't give up your hopes, your aspirations, your dreams. Um, I mean, you have to know whether it's for you or not. If you truly believe in it and you know that's for you, then don't give up. If you're going hem and hawing, if you're always thinking there's something newer, newer or better down the line, maybe it's not for you. So you have to do some reflection. You have to discern what's for you and what's not. I hope you like the read. Until next time, take care.